This video is going to be a review of my first trade with my London Daybreak um, strategy um, that I ran this morning on the 3 a.m. candle. Today is June 26, 2018. Um, this was on the pound Canadian dollar. And I previous video I kind of reviewed, revealed a bit about that strategy um, that I'm running. And um, it was a successful trade, which is great. Um, also, this is a, uh, I opened a new account with a different broker this time. Um, I wanted to check out a, I had been with Traders Way and I still am, but I wanted to check out Oanda, which is a US based broker, and uh, just wanted to see. And so, no problems really so far. Um, so, executed trades just fine, and all in all, decent experience. So, um, anyway, what I wanted to do is do a quick review of the trade, the setup, and the actual trade that was executed. So um, basically what I did here is we have this highlighted um, row here, which was the actual trade I've already dropped it in. Um, so as you can see, we had a sell trade at, um, it was, uh, this is the 3 a.m. candle here, right here. And so I had actually just set up for a sell. I did not, in my strategy, I set up for a buy and a sell. Um, but I'm gonna show you kind of what I did to just go for the sell and not even set up for a buy. Even though this was the actual high, my buy would have never gotten uh, triggered anyway, which is 12 pips above the, the high of the 3 a.m. candle. That would be the buy stop. But um, the sell stop was triggered. I had a stop loss of 42 pips or so, and the take profit was 50 pips. So it was better than a one to one trade. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this is the uh, one hour um, uh, chart, and you can see the trade was triggered at on the 4 a.m. candle, and I was out uh, 50 pips out within uh, one hour after that on the five hour candle. And um, you can see it never would have hit my stop loss, which would have been, which is up here. This is my stop loss. This was my entry right here. And this was my take profit right here. And so as you can see, price moved down, hit my stop loss. But even if it hadn't, um, you can see it would have just taken a few, hour, few more hours to actually hit um, my target. So we did good. Trade worked out wonderful and um, to the strategy. So um, that was great. What I wanted to do is just kind of go over just some other info about the trade and, and kind of why I was, uh, I only set up for a sell. Um, if you notice, I have this, um, I have these pink, uh, it's the zigzag um, indicator. So you can go find that and download it if you want it. But basically what I wanted to do was um, look at where where we were in price in comparison to the trend. And so this is actually, you can see we had been kind of in sort of an uptrend. You can see with the past few trading sessions. And so um, this was a counter trend trade, if you will. Um, but that's okay because the retracements have been 50 pips or more. So not a big deal. Um, as you know, price moves pretty well with the London um, session and on this particular pair as well. So um, the, there's no really no problem going for, say, 40 to 50 pips usually. <clears throat> so um, if we look, we could see starting down here, we had been uh, we had a, we've been, been making sort of higher highs and higher lows. Um, so that's just kind of what I had been going off of basically this this perspective right here So if you look it really looks like higher highs and, and even though this this was a higher high it was close um, That's okay. It still was qualified as a higher high um, Compared on the zigzag anyway, even though we had this other high up here I was expecting this to go ahead and retrace because price if you look um, this morning this pink line right here right here was actually right here okay so in my mind i still had another uh you know half halfway to go to to meet that retracement at least to support over here looking left so there was support over here that this price was could potentially go to and that's what i was trading for also if you look um you can see i also have 
the uh, I have a Bollinger Bands on there. So you can see previous price had pushed up past the Bollinger Band up here. And so I was expecting it to reach the bottom of the Bollinger Band at some point. It never did during the prior session, especially during the Asian session. And during Asian, it actually pushed back up into the top of the Bollinger Band. So I was still waiting for it to fall off back to the bottom from this prior high over here, which it never did yet so that's why i had set it for a sell trade and it was successful so um, i didn't really pay much attention to the rsi um i probably should have and i think i will take a look at that in a bit closer detail and try to figure out how to work in the rsi into the other information that i'm looking at um, as you can see on the at the uh the the high of the three in candle you can see it, it never made it up above the 50 on the RSI so I'm looking right around here so you can see the the three AM candles right here and the high of that candle was right here it never made it up above it so that's a piece of information that could potentially be useful in the future I'm going to keep that in mind and of course um, price just fell off uh, and hit the uh, the lower end of the RSI and hit target so. So anyway, um, all in all, it was a good trade. I had actually two other trades set up um, on the pound Australian dollar and pound USD, which are these three are the three um, pairs that I had done back testing on over the prior weekend. Um, I I started doing some back testing on pound New Zealand dollar. It wasn't looking good. Um, same with pound CHF. Although I only had a couple of trades in, and they were basically it was kind of losing trades right off the bat with the strategy. So um, I didn't really do much more. I, I, I need to dig back into those. Pound yen, I don't know at all. I have not tested anything at all. I, I barely even looked at how price reacts from the 3 a.m. candle yet. So um, <clears throat> still needs uh, some time to go over that. So this week, I'm just gonna be focusing on these three pairs. Um, we'll see how many trades we can get in um, this week. Uh, it is, of course, it's Tuesday, so we have tonight or tomorrow, 3 a.m. candle, which will be Wednesday and Thursday. Um, probably not going to be trading on Friday just due to low volatility, typically, from what I can tell. But we'll make an assessment and see how that goes come Friday. So hopefully we can get at least two more trades in this week. And we are up. Um, on of course um, on my uh, spreadsheet we only have one trade in there which is a winner for 50.4 pips and a profit of three dollars and 78 cents at a 0 0.01 or micro lot anyway um, thanks for watching I really appreciate it and looking forward to doing some more videos thanks take care